hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is bianca if you are new and let me just say hello to all my new friends thank you for joining the family um today you guys we are going to go wine tasting um i am starting a new little series on my channel where i go to wineries and vineyards and um do wine tastings this is something i've been wanting to do on my channel for quite some time and we are going to start so we're going to start of course in florida because that's where i live and the first place that we're going to today is cooper's hawk um as you all know cooper's hawk is a winery and a restaurant so we're going to go to the winery and do some tasting um i have been to their tasting before but i decided i would try it out again because i feel like this will be a good intro to this whole new series that i'm doing and if you have not been wine tasting before i feel like that would be a great place to start um your first your first one um I have been to two wineries before. I have been to Chenebly in Homestead, Florida, and, and I've also been to um, Lake Ridge Winery and Vineyards in Orlando, Florida. So that one, Lake Ridge is a winery and a vineyard, and Homestead is just a winery. So I want to take you guys along, and I hope you guys enjoy this new series. And um, yeah, we're about to go wine tasting, so come along and help your girl taste some wines. I like sweet wines over here. I don't know about that dry stuff. But we'll try it so we're gonna open our palette through this time <laughs> but yeah i hope um you guys can get a lot from this experience and learn a lot about wines and how you know the wines work and the difference between wineries and vineyards and hope you guys can start going out and tasting wine and then you know tag me in your photos when you post them and also please don't forget to follow me on instagram at underscore dorabella that's a-d-o-r-a-b-e-l-l-a put it on the screen and also in the description box down below so you will always see a picture a reel and a video from our wine tasting so let's go and let's get it popping I wish I could paint all of these moments in vibrant You are play, turns in a gun play, gun play, turns in a pillow top, a pillow top. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna decide which we're gonna look and see what okay. I do have to let you know uh, this one if you want to do this one, it's a great way to see our wine, but we don't allow any substitutions. So the menu is set. Oh, okay. You can always switch around one or two if we uh, don't like them. Okay. <laughs> So Cooper Hawks offers four different tastings. They have a discovery tasting where you can taste about two wines at a time. The rest is one glass at a time, which are the sweet, luxe, and variety tastings. Um, we went typically with the sweet tasting. Um, all standard tastings are $10 and $13 with a souvenir wine glass that you can take home with you. And the luxe tastings are $15 for the standard um, tastings and eighteen dollars with a souvenir glass. Darren, would you rather a cold flame, the dull and no shame, drugs, sex, and Polaroid, pick a star in the sky, we can both say goodbye all night. I wish I could paint all of these moments in vibrant. You work play, turns in a gun play, gun play. So I can taste it. You can taste the almond. Almond, biscotti, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and cheese. So this first wine is almond sparkly. Almond sparkly. Um, so this is the one that I had in the last Alright, thank you. Deep breath. I just like I think it's hilarious. I mean, I wouldn't 
I taste the spices, but not. One thing is the topping and the, 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 it's a little bit dry. It's like a drier No, but you're not gonna know. It's for appetizers. I don't taste the almonds. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, what is this one? Wrestling? This one smells sweet, y'all. This is the red wrestling. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> so you right. It smell? I can smell. I smell the green apple. Back my words. I mean, it smells good. Okay. Don't be shy. Do you like it? It's, so it's just drier. You don't know, usually like dry. I can taste it. You definitely taste the apple. I can taste it. It's gonna be the sweetest white wine we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's up my alley. <laughs> Take your time and enjoy. Thank you. We're sitting here wine tasting. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize I was recording. <laughs> but yeah, we tried almond sparkling. I give it a seven out of ten. Rizzling, eight out of ten. Moscato, definitely a ten out of ten. And this is rhubarb, I think it's called. It's like this is how it looks. And this is definitely ten out of ten. I, you know, you know, there's always people that have this stay here, but I'm getting comfortable having the camera out in public, sorta. And you know, my friends out here just staring at me like I should not be recording myself. That's what he does. Try to take a selfie. So you call the bar right here. It looks back. Oh no, oh, you're not in the business. Selfie, selfie. Oh, it's going to be out of the picture. Oh no, 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 selfie, selfie, selfie. So then make it dark. Well, sure. <laughs> Where's my glass? You better so. Vanilla taste in it and the pie taste, I like it. tastes like a dessert, yeah. Which, yeah, very fresh fruit desserts paired with and, and light salad. The passion fruit, I thought I was gonna really like, but it's kind of tart. It's very, I like it, yeah, like tangy. I like it. <laughs> the grapefruit is, um, it's really it's popping. The grapefruit is really popping. Almond. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It, it could have been a little bit sweeter. It had more of yeah. an alcohol and taste to it. Almond was okay. It was. It was okay. I gave it a seven out of ten. The Rizzling, I gave an eight out of ten. That one, I did taste the green apple. And that was probably about it. And the honey, that was about it. Moscato, hands down, ten out of ten. Uber. 
10 out of 10. And passion fruit, 8 out of 10. So we have the blueberry left to try. The Ben will get a Well, we'll figure out what that. When we get to that, we'll ask him how we pronounce it. And then Belote? romance friends. The Belote? Belote, maybe. But it's another pie one. Ooh, cool. Oh, well, this one might go with charcuterie. <laughs> Semi-sweet, almost like a dry red wine. It's dry like a sweet mm. Malbec. It's not gonna be completely sweet. I would like it. Okay. Um, I may not, but we'll, we're gonna try it and see. And um, she's gonna get it together. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try it. Take your time. Okay. Enjoy. I'm ready. Oh. I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> How about? Ben, wait, ben, wait, wait, wait. ben Velute, right? Yes. Ben, ben Velute. Okay. Ben Velute. Enjoy. It's smoky. Oh. I'm going to have to try it again. I've been hearing a lot of people like it. Mm -hmm. um, even the guy hard to be drinkers. Um, and mm -hmm. you should get a lot of cherry coke. I've been hearing that around this month. Okay. Definitely drier. She's not going to like it. Personally, I did it, but. Yeah. It has actually been really hot. See the face? <laughs> She's not a dry person. You can taste the cherry though. Mm -hmm. you can. A big but it is more of a Malbec. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's good though. You don't have to drink it if you don't want it. We can always switch it out for something else. Okay. Yeah, I think I might. Let's take your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! Take your time. Did you want to switch it out now? Yeah. This is dry for me. Yeah, I need to get used to drier. Anything in particular? Um. No, something, something sweet. sweet. That's <laughs> not on this list. <laughs> um. I have to have a white sangria. Okay. I'll try the sangria. You want to try the white one? Yeah. I do have to say the white one is a lot of. More forward and sweeter. I'll do the white. White. Whites. White for me. <laughs> you know this Copyright music. Before I let you. Sing it, girl. Sing it. <laughs> you just sing it. wine tasting at Cooper's Hot. Um, I'm lit and we're gonna go because tomorrow's Monday, Brady got work and used to go to sleep. It's about 8.42, 8.45-ish. 
And honestly, to come at six o'clock on a Sunday was the best decision because it was not packed at all. Um, I would do it again. So we're leaving now. It's feeling good. <laughs> so we're leaving. Thanks, guys.